Bach has become a sort of tutelary presence for many people. He exists in their consciousness because his melodies, perhaps especially some of the great famous melodies, have been inscribed in our being. We've heard them at solemn occasions. They've made an impression upon us and they're therefore codified. It's somehow it, it's, it's stamped or programmed into us and triggers a certain response. I think that, that at, but he does that because he is so good. He does that because he I is able uh, to articulate these feelings, these yearnings, these, this huge uh, mo moments of pathos that enable us to relate to something greater than ourselves. There are many bits in it which surprise and startle me, and I can never quite know which bits are really going to get me, except one thing which always gets me, and I always prepare myself for it, try to resist it, um, or at least hide myself so that I'm not too shamingly sobbing. Um, and that's the Abamadish. I, 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 I don't know why it gets me, even to think about it, actually, I can feel the, the tears starting in my eyes now, and I don't know what it is about it. Um, it's something about what it expresses. That moment of knowing that you have forgotten that someone has said something about what you're going to do, that you will betray me. And you've gone through the whole of this ghastly, disheveled night, and just as was predicted, you've gone and done it. You have done it. And you just beg for some sort of forgiveness. But it's the music in which it's expressed, which that, that violin. It doesn't matter whether you're an atheist or a, a, a Jew. By being an educated member of Western European civilization, it is the most famous story there is. It's, it's in your bloodstream well, in the way that no other story is. And it happens to be the most intensely dramatic story. You can read it again and again and again, and it never fails as a piece of drama. Now, you see, the crouching clergyman would say, well, the reason why it never fails is because it has an eternal truth. And that truth is religious and you are yielding to it because you're resisting the religion uh, uh, the religious belief which is in you it's not the case at all it's something that is permanently there whether you believe it or not which is the fact that we're here to suffer and that we're our profession in this world is to die Towards the end of his life, Bach began to draw the strands of his musical output together. His mass in B minor is made up of music composed between 1714 and 1749, the bulk of his musical career. Unperformed in his lifetime, it is both an anthology and a summation of Bach's choral music, spanning a vast range of available styles, from Gregorian and early Renaissance to the operatic and modern. One of the things that, that makes the B minor mass so infectious and so absolutely irresistible, I think, to, to 20th century audiences is the um, through-going dance motifs that, that, um, 
sort of ignite the whole piece. Uh, there are so many examples of it. The Gloria is one. The um, Et Resurrexit is another. The Et Expecto is a third. But perhaps the most vivacious and the most sort of irresistible is the Cum Sancto Spirito. Because there Bach seems to be taking um, the devil's best tunes. He's taking something directly from the secular world, the, the, the world of theatre music, of ceremonial music, um, of military music even, but uh, with a dance pulse to it, triple rhythm, um, such as w would have been heard at the court of Louis, Louis XIV, um, or I indeed any of the, the German um, princelings and potentates uh, in, in his own time, and using it to, uh, at the service of God for praising um, the Christian God. And Bach does it with such incredible virtuosity and such irresistible rhythm. Um, it's a cliche, but it, it is nonetheless true that the trumpets seem to be um, imitating or standing in for angelic trumpets. And there is this terrific feeling of elan and of aspiration and of energy and vivacity. And I find that absolutely wonderful and irresistible. Thank <laughs> you.